Hey YouTube, uh, project coming up here pretty soon. I'm gonna actually probably try to get something done every week on it. I'll shoot a video and then uh, put it up every, uh, let's say, Saturday or Friday or something like that and and uh, uh, continue up on with it. But uh, my project uh, today is I'm gonna start uh, putting uh, turn signals on my 2016 Ranger 570 midsize. And I'm sure this would work for pretty much any brand of, uh, of uh, UTV or ATV, uh, but uh, uh, what I'm gonna work on here is UTV. So let's, let's start. Okay, uh, what I have here is a turn signal for a truck. I believe the part number is VSM 900. I can Google that. I'm sure you can get it at uh, at uh, Amazon or, or wherever. Uh, a truck supply, uh, parts supply, uh, warehouse, or anything like this. This one here, I believe I got it from uh, Ryder, um, R-Y-D-E-R, like the Ryder truck rental place. I believe they have a website where you can actually buy parts for trucks. Uh, the next thing you need is the flasher module, like the old blinker relay. But this one particular one here, I'll show it to you if you can focus in on that. Is it focused? Uh, that one is a uh, it's just a solid state flasher because they're LED lights you have to have a solid state flasher I believe so anyway pretty self-explanatory I'll get into the wiring when we get into uh, doing the uh, uh, the actual installation okay I'll set this aside okay the other thing I guess I need my Ranger ha actually has two uh, backup, or not backup, but uh, it has two brake lights and and uh, tail lights, so uh, they are uh, split to tail and uh, backup, or not backup, brake. So um, I should be set for that. And the only other thing I would need is something for in the front. I'm not sure if I'm going to drill holes in the actual front of the uh, plastic uh, of my. Uh, Ranger or not, or there is a couple of little spots down below that I think I can make a plate or something and put these in. I might choose to make the plate, put those in there. These were bought off of eBay, I believe, and uh, I think you can buy like multiples of these. And I think this one was, <coughs> excuse me, a, a 20 pack for it wasn't very much money. Uh, the more you can get, actually, uh, pretty decent price. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, probably three or two or three uh, of these lamps per side. Okay, the other thing that that I got for this is uh, turn signal indicators, and then I'll, I'll take one out of the uh, package here so it's easier to see. I guess I could have done that with the other one, but I guess there was one out anyway. Is there one out of the package? Nope, there isn't. Here, I'll take this one out of the next package. Got able to get that. Okay, what this is is a uh, indicator lamp, LED, 12 volt, and these will be hooked in with the uh, uh, the right and left turn signals so that I know that I have them blinking because this here does have a flasher uh, this here is not auto canceling so and I think there is a bulb in here that flashes I'm not sure I, I know I have one on an old truck outside here that uh, I don't think the bulb works. I think the bulb was actually in the out, outer part of the uh, turn signal lever here. Kind of back to this, there is some uh, mounting hardware for this and some brackets. And uh, by the looks of things, it looks like I'm gonna have to modify my steering column just a little bit to get this to work. But we'll get into that 
when I get to that point. And put that stuff away. I, yep, here's my, uh, again, my turn signal indicators. I'll set this aside. Next thing are these. Uh, these I found, uh, I think it was on eBay. And what they are is motorcycle license plate lights. And uh, kind of neat deal. And you can uh, bolt your license plate on as an LED um, um, light in the end here. And you can bolt your license plates on and then and eliminate them. And uh, I picked up four of them. I believe I'm only going to need one to make it this uh, 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 legal, I should say. South Dakota has a deal where you should have uh, turn signals. Well, actually, no. I think all you need is a horn and a license plate light and rear, rear view mirror. I have the rear, rear view mirror on all of my... Uh, ATVs so the only thing I really need is a horn and these license plate lights that's pretty self-explanatory just put them in wire them in and understand that there is uh, negative and positive with LEDs it'll light one way but not the other so it comes to my horn what I found I will have descriptions or places where I would suggest getting these but uh, uh, eBay is just as good as a place as any place to start. Uh, here's the other uh, thing that you would need is a horn switch, uh, which you don't have to get this elaborate, I guess, but I, I kind of thought this was kind of a neat deal. And I'm not sure I was going to use uh, one of these extra indicators here to show that I had my lights on because sometimes you don't realize you either don't have your lights on or you have your lights on with this Ranger. Uh, it's the light switch is on the key switch, uh, which is, I think, kind of irritating. I just wish they would come on all the time, and I might rewire that so that is the case. But here I think I'm going to use this horn switch is uh, can be illuminated and I think I'll just have that come on with the lights being on. And then here's the actual horn itself. Um, again, I got to buy uh, two more of these or three more of these, depending on how many I'm going to uh, make legal for South Dakota traffic. I live in Minnesota. Uh, I don't really want to push... Uh, being illegal as far as in South Dakota because I like going there and using the trails so I'd like to be legal I want to get this on before I head out there in uh, in the summer but that's just pretty much it uh, the surprising thing about these items here is I actually ordered these on online through Walmart and uh, Walmart has been really really good about and very very inexpensive too but uh, that's pretty much it and this is going to be I think I'll probably just do a video for um, a couple three videos probably to put, install this and get it wired into the system and then probably another video uh, to uh, show on uh, how to get the horn hooked up Obviously, with an ATV, uh, a little bit different story. Uh, you're going to want something a little bit smaller than this and a little bit more weatherproof. Proof. Uh, this is going to work great for my Ranger because there's a hole in the dash for these. So, And I think I might even create a hole uh, in my dash in another spot for the horn switch where it's a little bit easier to get to. Thanks for watching. Um, like I said, I'm going to, going to, I'm not sure if it'll be next week, but uh, I am going to be uh, 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 shooting a video on, and on the different steps I do to install this system. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye. And if you're liking these videos, please subscribe to my grandpa's channel. Hit the subscribe button right here. I think it's here. Oh, well, thank you.